at 11, a story you will see only on Eyewitness News. A major investigation is underway in Fall River tonight. A tipster tells police he sees two people put a body wrapped in a rug or towel into a car and drive off. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer joins us from Fall River now with the story you will see only here. Marilyn. All day neighbors have been watching police activity inside and outside the yellow house you see behind me. They've also watched a strong police presence in their community. So clearly a police investigation is underway. However, tonight there is still no official confirmation of exactly what crime has occurred. Fall River police are staked out along Etna Street, keeping a close watch on a three-story yellow house on the corner of Etna and Vale. Sources tell Eyewitness News police are investigating a possible homicide. Sources say someone reported a body being put into a car wrapped into either a rug or a towel. That's when police were dispatched to the scene. That body in somebody's car, you know, it's, it's a little scary there, you know what I mean? Neighbors say the residents living in the house are quiet. There's always a few people. They've never bothered or they don't make any noise. Tony Lima was across the street at the local bar called Brothers Pub. He says several police officers pulled up to the house around 2 p.m. Sunday, searched along the fire escape and the third floor apartment. One neighbor tells us he watched as a resident of the house under investigation came outside and removed a front bumper from this burgundy Volvo S80. Then around 4.30, police surrounded a silver car two blocks away at the corner of Laurel and Dwelly Streets. Police took the couple inside the car into custody for questioning. The source tells us the couple was stopped for speeding earlier in Little Compton. All of a sudden, there was like three or four more squad cars, and they searched the vehicle, and they both got arrested. Late Sunday night, police could be seen entering the home. Nobody wants to feel endangered in the community, you know? I mean, it's great that the cops are here and that they're doing their job, and I hope that whatever the issue is, that it is resolved. And as you can see, police officers still remain on the scene at this hour. Sources tell Eyewitness News a full command of police officers are now working on the case. There are also unconfirmed reports that point to a possible auto chop shop ring involvement in this case. Police officers on the scene had no comment. Reporting with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.